how to create a landing page using Google Sites. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how we can do this totally for free. So guys, the first thing you need to understand is that the Google Sites is an amazing place to build a lot of places, a lot of stuff about websites, about events, portfolios, student portfolio projects, and this is totally for free. This is an amazing place to get started if you don't have any kind of budget and just just getting started with the actual uh, blog section, the portfolio, website, and much more. All right, so with that being said, guys, now I'm here into Google Sites. What I want to do, first of all, is to go into sites.google.com and I want to sign in. And as you can see, I'm already in here. So in order to get started, I can choose a template or I can just start with a blank. So since we are creating a landing page, we can go into the template gallery and see if there's some kind of stuff we can use for a actual landing page. As you can see, we have something about education, we have club, we have student portfolio, we have a loan for a student uh, photo uh, portfolio and much more. In our case, we don't want to use any kind of template because in landing page, it's a little bit more easier to uh, create. So let's go for blank and automatically it's gonna be popping up this editor section of the Google site. So in my case, what I want to do is to input here the name of my brand, the name of my logo, or in my case, I'm just gonna delete this like that. And then what I want to do is to go into change image so I can change this actual section. For example, here, change image, go into upload. And what I want to do is just to choose an image that I want to do. If you want to upload your own personal image or you just want to choose the one that is like totally for free, I'm going to go into select. And here, for example, I want to locate the actual uh, search. And here I, I can see that there's a lot of sections where I can just use this for Camosa reuse with modification. With that being said, let's say, for example, that I'm focusing into some photo photography, for example. So I'm going to go for photography. And then I want to look for an image that I can use for a background. I say background. So I'm going to just scroll a little bit down. And let's say that I kind of like this one. I'm going to go into select. And automatically it's going to be just moving on into the readability like that. So after that, what I want to do is to, if I wanted to change the image, I can do that once again, how the top, of course, whether that will be a banner, a title only, the lodged banner or a Kaba, that really depends on you. In my case, I just want to focus into the banner. I'm going to leave it like that or go into title only if you wanted to and input here your, the name of your brand. I'm going to go for TechPress, leave it like that. And then what I want to do is to import some actual blocks. So speaking about the blocks, focus into the uh, right part of the insert section. We see the insert, we see the pages, and we see the themes. What I wanted to do is to focus into insert. And here, what I want to do is to import here, uh, let's say three blocks, three elements in order to use it for my landing page. So for example, first of all, I want to focus into a text box, focus into the image, and focused into the button. So first of all, I'm gonna focus into the image. So I'm going to go into cancel, hit into the images, and here I'm gonna go into import that from here. I'm gonna do a drag and drop. If you don't see anything like that, you don't have to worry about that. What we can do is to actually go and open a new tab and look out for the actual place that you want to add your actual logo. So I'm gonna go for, let's say for example, Instagram logo. So here into images, what I want to do is to look out for an image that is a PNG file. And PNG file is going to be helping me to copy and paste this actual logo without having to choose a background. So there must be like a few squares into the uh, backside of my logo. So for example, this one, as you can see, there's a lot of squares. So I can go and copy this image and paste that into my Google site section, for example, here. And I'm going to try to paste it. I'm going to go for paste or go in here. And as you can see, I can just drag and drop this custom uh, section. So what I want to do is to make this a little bit more smaller. Let's say, for example, like this. A little bit more, I guess. And then what I want to do is now I want to just uncrop this. And there we go. So now what I want to do is to add of course, the title of the section, for example, here, I'm going to look like that. And then I'm going to go into button and just going to drag and drop. So here I want to import the name of my buttons, go for Instagram. Let's go for my Instagram and the link you want to import your custom link. In my case, I'm just going to be importing the Instagram.com. So you can see this is actually totally uh, working. I'm going to hit into insert. 
And what I want to do is to move this right into this section. So I can leave this like that. And I'm going to make this actually a little bit more big enough. Like this. A little bit more, I guess. And there we go. Then what I want to do is to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to just copy and paste the same button. And I'm going to import that here. So instead of choosing an Instagram account, I'm going to type for my Facebook. And instead of this link, I'm going to choose, of course, my Facebook link. Hit into update. And then what I want to do, of course, is to choose a new icon so I can import that in here. So uh, whether you want to import the section that says social links, which I think is going to be a little bit more faster. For example, I can go for the social media links. I can go into this section, hit into select. And here, what I want to do is to look out for some Google images and look out for, let's say, for example, Facebook, Facebook logo. So let's say I'm going to choose the first one, hit into insert, and here into the link, I'm going to type my custom link of Facebook. Once again, this is just an example. So I'm going to type facebook.com. And here I'm going to do exactly the same thing with, let's say, TikTok. Go into Google images, go with TikTok like this, and go for, let's say, the logo. If you don't find that, go into TikTok logo. And there we go. So I'm going to choose this option, hit into insert. And here into this link, I'm going to do exactly the same thing, tiktok.com, and hit into insert. And automatically, this section is going to be added here into my actual uh, landing page. So this is like one way that you can add your stuff, or like this is another way that you can do this. So whether you can do something like this, for example, I have the small, let's say, for example, medium, I'm going to go for small. And there we go. So after that, what I can do instead of adding social media here is just to add, let's say, for example, my portfolio. And lastly, what I want to do is just to focus into the section colors. And let's say, for example, that I want to change this style into this color, or I want to change the actual, all the font here. So I'm going to do with this and here into the header type, I'm going to leave a listen to the title only. And this is, of course, the footer. So if you want to add a footer, you can do this. In my case, I want to leave it like that. And there we go. So this is like totally really, really simple um, since I want to make this like totally free. So here into the untitled site, I'm going to go for text press uh, landing page. I'm going to go for, I'm going to leave it like that actually. So here it's going to be asking you what's going to be the name of your actual website. So here you have site.google.com slash view uh, fast forward slash. I'm going to go for text pressed. Um, let's say I want to leave it like that because uh, this actually it's really working. I'm going to go for published. And there we go. So lastly, what I want to do is to type into one button to see if this actually is working. So this one should be taking me into Instagram. So as you can see, it's actually working. It took me into Instagram.com. In your case, it should take you into your profile on Instagram and so on and on and on. So as you can see, this is actually working. So with that being said, guys, this is how we can get started with the actual Google Sites to deliver it free. You don't have to pay absolutely for anything. And we have just done this really, really um, fast. So I think it's really, really basic. And I don't know, like two starters, but if you want to customize your own uh, landing page, I mean, you can just take your time, change colors, change the background, change the fill off sections, change that for outlines, change the design, um, so you can see this a little bit more uh, accurate into your style. So with that being said, guys, this is how you can get started by here into Google Sites. So don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more amazing tools about this uh, sections. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. See you next time.